Hey guys, it's Dan. Uh, this is my week two match. I'm up against Hero Price in the Columbus Caballions. Um, match preview this week. His team has Urshifu, Rillaboom, Talonflame, Arcaladon, Gothitel, Raikou, and uh, a few others, but those are the six that I would expect to come. Maybe there's an outside world where the Alchemy comes instead of one of them, but Raikou seems huge for this team. Uh, I imagine that it's going to be a Rain Dance Raikou set to counter the sun. So I have a Gouging Fire with Flare Blitz and Heat Crash. I actually need Flare Blitz this week because that'll uh, do more damage than Heat Crash into Raikou. And with the Protosynthesis boost, a Flare Blitz in the sun, if I switch in the Torkoal afterwards next to the Gouging Fire, will let me one-shot the Raikou to stop him from getting rain up, which I think has to be his main plan. Uh, there is the possibility he could go, like, Tailwind and then Rain Dance, but then I'm feeling like I'm in a pretty solid position at that point. Uh, but otherwise, pretty straightforward team, and I'm just going to be going for a little bit of the outplay. The Urshifu Rapid Strike is potentially a little bit of a problem, but Screamtail should be able to shut it down fairly effectively, uh, along with everything else on my team. But yeah, without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop on into it. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dan. I am back with live commentary this week. Uh, Thor's feeling a bit better, so we're just going to go into it. We're up against Tiro this week. And he doesn't have Raikou. I really expected Raikou Rain to be something that he went for. Uh, so this really changes my thoughts on it. He's definitely going for Tailwind matchup, which means a Screamtail lead is going to be pretty solid. Uh, Screamtail Gouging Fire seems like a really good lead into a lot of what he can do. In fact, I don't know what he would have, but... The only other consideration on lead is Walking Wake. Um, but I really don't want to deal with Rillaboom if he's got Walking Wake on lead. So what if we just pressure like this? Go in the back with the Torkoal, definitely. And to clean up late game... Probably still want the Wake to clean up late game. It's going to be a little soft to alchemy, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and dive on into it. Good luck, have fun to T-Row. Ooh, love the little Finnison Palafin thing there. Okay, so he's immediately going for the trap stuff. We're okay with this, right? I can Tarraspal into a dragon type to not get faked out over there. I think that's the play. Uh, let's check to see if I'm trapped. Okay, so I am trapped. Good. So we know the set over there. Uh, honestly, Heat Crash seems fine. Save Terra and go for the thunder wave over here. Okay, this is fine. I'm definitely on coin that. Okay, uh, with that crit, and if that's a citrus berry, I don't... Hmm, it's gonna be borderline killing. What do we have coming out this turn? Trick Room? Rain Dance. There's the Rain Dance. Cool. So it's definitely not killing this turn, but it doesn't matter. So we can Heat Crash here. And... Encore the Protect. Yeah. Okay. So this is pretty straightforward for us this turn. Not quite gonna kill, but I'll get the kill next turn. That's all useless. Yep. Ooh, it's decent. Um, 
can always tear it and switch it out, but I'd rather put pressure on that slot. And let's just gleam. Force that Urshifu out. I can tear a ghost and switch out if I need to in front of it in the future. So, I think I'm in a solid position here uh, with what I'm going to be able to do late game. Because there isn't a lot of pressure that's being put on uh, any of my Pokemon at this point. Yep. I just get a little bit of Dazzling Green Chip on everything, which is nice. Ooh, and suddenly... Heat Crash is going to look really good into that thing. And that'll be a plus one defense. Actually, it'll be a plus two defense. But in the sun... Do I think this will kill in the sun at plus two defense? Hmm, kinda has to, doesn't it? See what's the Terra there? I don't think it Terra's, but it is Terra ground. Oh, let's find out. So Protosynthesis, Fire, plus two. It might survive. Not comfortably though. Yeah, that's fine. Especially if he goes for the uh, Electro Arc deck. Okay, that's fine. We eat that. Heat crash this slot again. I don't want to get Walking Wake out. I probably want. Yeah, Walking Wake's probably safe here. Then I'll have the ability to reset Sun in the future. Uh, yeah, so. Overall, I think this is a decent position. Uh, body press here is going to hurt under Tailwind, but I think even at plus three, I still eat that. I'm not entirely sure, but I think so. If I don't, uh, it's a bit more troublesome. Yep, fast walking wake. He turns out. Okay. I really like the design of these new uh, Dragon Protosynthesis mods. Uh, maybe I don't like this. Yeah, he went for the Drake once of the body press. Ah, he got the crit. Okay. I might uh, probably love that. But we're okay here, because Screamtail comes in. Booster speed. I think a dazzling gleam here is very safe. And then I almost want to just dazzling gleam and Draco. Now let's dazzle Gloom and Hydra Steam, that should be enough over here. Yeah, it's not gonna kill. That double up is fine.
Mm, is it? I'm definitely pressuring on Dazzling Gleam nonsense. Uh, but I've only got a Torkoal left. Maybe I should have swapped in Torkoal there. And let it go down and have Walking Wake in the back. Threatens the double KO. Or she flew a fire. Turns, this is the last turn of Trick Room. Or Tailwind. Yes, this is the last turn of Tailwind. Corruption should do what I want it to do here. Yeah, this should be fine. Because now Talon Flame comes in. Uh, Dazzling Green plus Eruption. Might not kill it, but should do enough. Single target Eruption. Nah, I should have clicked Terrifier. Yeah, I definitely should have clicked Terrifier. That's a throw. But Dazzling Green is now actually. His tailwind's actually gonna be faster. I don't think it matters though. No, 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 I'm faster. I get Dazzle and Gleam off. And I think Eruption here. No, let's overheat in case he tears to survive. Ah, no, if he tears to survive, I need the guaranteed hit with the eruption. So, I think with the speed booster... Yeah, he's gonna tear ground here, or tear fire the Urshifu. Yep, tear fire. It should be fine. That'll take out the Tower Flame. The question is, can I kill the Thirsty for the time? <clears throat> okay, so he's gonna reduce the eruption area. Okay. Dazzling Gloom takes it out from here. I'll just click Overheat as well. Didn't really tear out this game, which is fine, because I'm so faster than him. Encore attack is so good. <laughs> but he doesn't have an out here, because he can't kill. No screen tail. Uh, okay, so that's game one, and I will be back in a sec with game number two. Okay, game two. Uh, with that rain dance that I don't actually know how good Gouging Fire is. But he doesn't have it fast, so I could just leave Gouging Fire Torkoal. I just go for some immediacy. It's a bit weaker into Talon Flynn leads. What about Walking Wake lead? I kind of want Walking Wake and Sandy Shocks in this game at some point, right? Uh, a Sandy Shocks lead here makes sense, because I could tear a Flying Terra Blast if it's Hershifu or Rillaboom.
Yeah, I think this makes sense. Uh, I definitely need the Torkoal. Then Walking Wake or Gouging Fire? Better in the back here. I think Gouging Fire gives us a lot of damage output potential. So the Orchalodon is a ground Terra, which I need to keep in mind. Okay, same lead. Fine. Showing a big threat. I kind of just want to call him not going for the protect this turn. I think he, I think he can't really go for protect on this lead. I guess Thunderbolt would have also worked, but this also covers for uh, real boom switching. Yep. So that Earth Power next turn is an option, but this is still gonna do a huge chunk. Never mind. Good play, good play. He gets this kill, that's annoying. Ah, skill diff. Now we earth power that slot, and uh, we encore fake out. Super safe. He's got a switch in Rillaboom, but I mean, he's got Rillaboom in front of this, and he can't tear the Rillaboom. Rillaboom is tear grass anyway. Yeah, this is, yeah, he, he knows he's going to make that switch, which is fine. Or that slot. Earth power. Yep, clean. And threatening earth power over there, which is potentially also just clean. Ooh, interesting. I think I can actually protect here. Can I encore a Tailwind? Do I just want to make that call? No. Let's... Let's go for the double up here. This could be a mistake, but I think uh, there's nothing this thing has that can kill me. Yeah, I accept Draco Meteor. But that's fine. Now, Gouging Fire comes in while I disable the Draco. Right? 
Or do I just go full Lugaboo now? I think full Lugaboo might work. Maybe this would have been better if it was Flare Blitz. Oh well. I don't actually know the weight of a Kaladon. Oh, cool. It's dead. That's fine. He's going for a reset now. Super bulky, because that killed most Raikus. That's gonna be like max bulk. Get the screen tail in here. Oh, I can't because that survived. But he needs to double that target for this to work. Which means. The heat crush here, he's gotta double for that to work, which means I get a eruption off. And I get the full power. Nice. Yeah. So I get the eruption off there. Every time. Unless he was targeting the Torkoal, in which case, Gouging Fire finishes off everything else. This will wrap up. Move to 2 0 on the season, uh, pretty sure at least, but good game to Tiro. His team was pretty tricky. Uh, he had the rain mode, but not necessarily the way I thought it was going to happen. Uh, he gets the crit. It's not over till he's dead, I guess. But uh, move to 2 0 on the season. He crash should come in that might just kill. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I also get a crit. Cool. Happy thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys back here for week three next week. Have a nice one. Bye.